Hello, I'm going to do the Pisces Weekly Energy, and this is for the 22nd to the 29th. And this may or may not be a message for you. What do we got going on for Pisces this week? Who needs to hear a message? Who needs to hear a message? All right, we have Page of Pentacles, Ace of Cups. Ace of Cups wants to come out so many times. Knight of Swords, Seven of Swords. King of Cups, Four of Swords, Two of Swords. Wow. I feel like these cards keep wanting to come out no matter how much I try and shuffle. All right. I feel like... Let's see. Page of Pentacles. Pages are young messengers, and this represents good news about changes in life. That's what I felt like. You have some changes in life coming. Knight of Swords, charging forward, moving forward. You've got some changes coming in of an emotional nature, okay? Um, it could be with a relationship. Um, I feel like King of Cups, that could represent you um, being the Pisces. I feel like there are some emotional changes coming your way. Um, things didn't turn out the way that you wanted them to. Um, Four of Swords... Um, this is taking a break, rest and recovery. Um, this is, I feel like you've already taken a break though because I, um, there's a decision that you need to make but you don't have all the information. I feel like, let's see, we have two of swords and five of cups. There's a two of cups here. I, feel, I just feel like there's a new emotional beginning for you. Um, aces are new beginnings. I feel like there is a new emotional beginning. I feel like maybe there's still some things that you're hanging on to and you need to make that decision. Do I, do I keep having this go around in my mind where I keep processing this and I keep overthinking it? Or do I move forward, I turn around and I see these two cups and I start my new emotional um, beginning? Um, like I said, this page of Pentacles is good news coming in about um, good news about changes in life. I feel like there's there's some ch change coming from you. Oh, I almost got goosebumps with that. Yeah, there's some change coming in. All right. Um, this is quick moving energy. I feel like once you make this decision that you're like, I'm not going to deal with this anymore. I'm not going to deal with this hurt. Something didn't turn out. I feel like you thought something was going to follow one path, but it sort of went to the left and you're like, wait a minute. And I feel like you're trying to readjust things to go down this path, path that you're like, wait a minute, I was preparing for this and now this got thrown at me. So I need to readjust things. I feel like you're handling the change well. I feel like you're going with the flow. I feel like, yes, this has thrown you off a little, but I feel like you're just sort of regrouping and that's what you're doing right now is you're taking the time to regroup and to readjust. Um, yes, this was disappointing, but I feel like you're gonna be able to readjust okay to this new situation. these flipped over all right we have the seven of cups and this is standing up for yourself okay because this is what you need to do um, no uh, this is feeling overwhelmed okay lots of choices you have lots of choices sorry not enough coffee this morning 
Seven of Cups is you're be, you're feeling a little overwhelmed with choice. You have a lot of choice, but I don't feel like you're feeling overwhelmed. I feel like you have a lot of choices, and that's a good thing because even though this path didn't go the way that you wanted it to, you have some other options. You have some other ways that you can go. Um, I don't feel like you're overwhelmed, though. I don't feel like you're overwhelmed with choices. I feel like you have some decisions to make, and maybe that's why, you know, because this is, she has her blindfold on, so she doesn't have all of the information to make her choice. Um, and maybe you just need a little more information. Maybe you have a lot of choices right now. Yeah, you have a lot of choices, and you're not sure what direction you want to go in. And... It's just going to take a little bit of time meditating, thinking, to decide which direction you want to go in. And then we have the Queen of Cups. So we have the Queen of Cups and we have the King of Cups. So I feel like this represents a relationship. So when I, when there's a Queen and a, and a King, I feel like it um, represents a relationship. So it could have to do with your relationship. Maybe there was a curveball thrown in your relationship that you're in. Um, but I feel like... It's not a, it's not like devastating for you. Um, I feel like it's, you're going to be able to adjust to it. Um, maybe the two of you were thinking that a job was going to come through and it didn't, or maybe you were going to buy a house and that didn't happen. Um, maybe you thought you were going to be moving and that didn't happen. But I feel like the two of you together are going to be able to you're going to be okay. Like you're, you're going to figure this out together and that's going to make your relationship stronger. All right. And then we have the seven of pentacles and this is work and patience is rewarded. Okay. Good news financially. So maybe it's about finances. Maybe it's about you thought that a job was going to come through and it didn't. Um, patience is rewarded. Okay. I just feel like it's going to be okay between the two of you. Um, and like I said, I feel like this is going to make your relationship stronger. Um, and the two of you just have some decisions that you need to make about what you want to do. I don't feel like it's a breakup. I don't feel like there's, um, fighting. I don't feel maybe something, maybe the, maybe your partner did something that kind of threw you off. I kind of, I'm kind of getting a feeling that it's, the two of you together that you were planning on something and something got thrown off. Something didn't fall into place like the two of you were thinking. So the two of you are trying to make some decisions on where you want to go from there. Like what is our next step? That's what I'm getting. That, that's what I'm feeling like. Um, let's see. Let's see. What extra cards do we want to use? Um, let's do fortune readings. I feel like the two of you are a team. I feel like the two of you are a team and that you can handle it. Patience. <laughs> All right. And that's this card too. Patience. Slow down, change your attitude, and clear your mind. Okay, patience. Um, I feel like this two of cups represents the two of you, okay? Right now, you're disappointed about something. You're let down about something. You're frustrated about something. It didn't turn out the way that you wanted it to. You had your plan set, your heart set on something, but it didn't turn out. But having patience, slowing down, changing your attitude, instead of getting angry about it and blowing up, and feeling overwhelmed about everything that's going on, step back and just let things fall in place naturally. Clear your mind. Do what makes you happy. Do, you know, stop thinking about the situation. Just let it go for a bit, you know, whether it's a day, um, even if it's just for an hour, um, if it's a week, a month, I don't know, whatever that is. And I feel like things are going to fall into place naturally and it'll turn out the way it's supposed to be, okay? 
that worrying about it isn't going to change it or make it any better. It's just going to put more stress on the situation. So just having that patience, letting things flow, letting things happen the way they're supposed to, maybe leaning on your partner a little bit more, um, and you know, letting them, you know, just reconnecting and letting this other your partner know how you feel. And things will start moving forward, okay? Good news, okay? We started with this one. Good news about changes in life. Don't be afraid of those. Move forward because this is a new, new phase that you're going into. All right. Thank you so much for watching. As always, stay positive, stay safe, and I will see you next time.